Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from the leaders, from thought leaders like my new friend Sean over here, from the uh, within the digital infrastructure space. And to uh, to my right, I have Mr. Sean Barley. Sean is the chief evangelist, a title I absolutely love, uh, chief evangelist for Ampere Computing. Sean, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me, Dean. It's a pleasure to be here, and I get that a lot. A lot of people say, I just love your title, and yeah. I like my title too, so, you know, it's all good. So let's do it. Let's lean in on it. Evangelize. For our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Ampere Computing? Absolutely. Ampere Computing is about a seven-year-old company. We are in the silicon space. We build processors for servers, uh, ARM instruction set, and these are high core count processors. But the real reason why Ampere was built was to provide sustainable computing uh, for the masses. Okay. This is something that we kind of took a view of early on. We said, look, processors consume way too much power. So we built something that actually for an equivalent amount of performance will give eh, anywhere from 30 to 60% less power consumed for the same amount of work done. I love it, Sean. And uh, you you actually uh, are bringing up a really, really great point that's been made for by probably 75% of the people that I have interviewed today. And that is, <laughs> there is no, it, it, this this industry, it used to be, well, it's the data center industry. And then it became the digital infrastructure industry. But what the reality is, is that this is an ecosystem that is only getting bigger. Uh, yes. and, and no, you know, the people who build the facility, that's like, that's the, the first thing that gets done, or, you know, the, what, the last thing that gets done. First, you got to get power. You got to have you got to have the, the processing and you got to have all this. You got to have supply chain. You got to have all of that stuff. And you are part of that ecosystem. Absolutely. And we are we work with so many customers now that are basically saying what you're saying. Like we have been building data centers for quite some time. Yeah. Now, the whole problem is I can't get enough power. There it is. Right. Yeah. And they're so power limited. Um, I visit data centers all the time. Some of them are here at this show mm -hmm. and basically they're saying, oh yeah, look at my data center. And it's about 30% actually, <laughs> that's it. you know, that's at capacity yes. because they ran out of power. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's been a problem, of course, with the AI, you know, thing coming on, it's yes. becoming even more of a problem. Yeah, no, I, I, I believe that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Ampere more specifically, uh, your newsroom. A any interesting news coming out of the newsroom there at Ampere? Oh, well, yes. We did have an interesting piece that came out just last week. Okay. You know, there was an announcement of the uh, the intention to acquire the company uh, by SoftBank. So that was some pretty big news. That's big yes. news, John. Yes, yes. Um, and, and so uh, how do you feel about that? Hey, look, we um, we think it's a great recognition yeah. of our value to the industry. Yes. Um, you know, we think that we have always had a major story to tell, and we've yeah. been a demonstrated known quantity. At this point, you know, we've been producing products for seven years. Yeah. Every year, we've, we've, yeah. we've pulled a, a new product out. So we've demonstrated our capability. Uh, we've demonstrated our value proposition in terms of being able to you know, deliver a lot more compute for a lot less power. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, now we're telling an AI story, right? Yeah. Which is, look, you know, you, even though you're going to, you know, weld AI into your digital service somehow, some, maybe someday you haven't yeah. quite figured it out, yeah. but when you do it, you're going to want to do it for the least amount of cost. And yeah, that means the least amount of power. Yeah. And so increasingly that OPEX component is going to be big. And so that's what we're telling the story of now is like you can actually do, especially production AI, which is really inference yeah. for a lot less power as well. So and so the combined entity then just uh, makes your 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 product stronger. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, there's a lot of interest. You know, if, if you go to the, the press release that was done, you know, this this uh, next revolution in AI is stretching everybody. We talked about it earlier. Forget about it. And yep. so, you know, this is something that we want to have this kind of technology at the forefront of. If you yeah. can do these things for a lot less power, you don't have to go put a nuclear, you know, power block at every data center. So much the better. Yeah, right. I'm not, honestly, the ecosystem uh, just gets bigger. Uh, congratulations on the news. It clearly is affirmation that what you were doing uh, was super valuable. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank Sean, you very much. You bet, Sean. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you very soon.